Oogenesis is the process of which the female gametes or ova are created. In this presentation, each component of follicular development will be discussed, as well as its relation to cell division. Initially, the menstrual cycle is the process of ovulation and menstruation in women. Here I am going to quickly discuss the cycle of a normal adult woman. The menstrual phase lasts 5 days and marks the beginning of the 28 day cycle. The uterus lining breaks down and menstruation occurs. The pre-ovulatory phase involves uterus lining repair and thickening, known as the proliferative stage, and in the ovary, surviving follicles have further developed by day 14. Ovulation usually occurs on day 14 and involves the rupture of the follicle and the release of the secondary oocyte. In the post-ovulatory phase, the luteal phase is reached in the ovary and the uterus lining continues to thicken. During early fetal development, stem cells called oogonia divide via mitosis. A few germ cells develop into primary oocytes and enter meiosis and stops until puberty. Meiosis is completed by one primary oocyte each month. This diagram shows an overview of the different stages of follicular development in one ovary. Each stage will be looked at in closer detail. The primordial follicle is present during fetal development. It is a primary oocyte surrounded by a flat layer of follicular cells. At birth, the ovary contains 200,000 to 2 million primary oocytes, with 40,000 remaining at puberty. Only 400 will mature and ovulate. The primary follicle is a primary oocyte surrounded by granulosolar cells. As it grows, a clear membrane made up of glycoprotein, called the zona pellucida, separates the primary oocyte and the granulosolar cells. The stromal cells connected to the basement membrane begin to form and organize a layer called the theca folliculi. As the follicle develops, it becomes the secondary follicle in which the theca layer differentiates into two layers. The theca interna is highly vascularized and contains cuboidal cells that secrete estrogen. The theca externa contains stroma cells and collagen fibers. The granulosolar cells secrete follicular fluid that fills up in a cavity called the antrum. The innermost layer of the granulosolar cells becomes attached to the zona pellucida and is called the corona radiata. The secondary follicle increases in size and becomes a mature follicle, known as the graphion follicle. At this stage, and just before ovulation, the primary oocyte completes its meiosis I and divides into two haploid cells. The cells are different sizes. The smaller cell is the first polar body, containing discarded material which degenerates over time. The larger cell is the secondary oocyte and receives most of the cytoplasm. Each has 23 chromosomes and meiosis II begins and stops at metaphase I. At ovulation, the graphion follicle ruptures and releases its secondary oocyte and first polar body from the ovary into the pelvic cavity. The polar body and the corona radiata get swept up by the uterine tube. If fertilization does not occur, these cells degenerate. If fertilization does occur, the secondary oocyte will resume its meiosis II. Once meiosis II has been completed, it will split into two cells of unequal size, a second polar body and the ovum. The corpus luteum occurs after ovulation and releases hormones such as progesterone, estrogen, inhibin and relaxin with a cycle of approximately two weeks. It then degenerates into the corpus albicans, which is a scar tissue. This table shows an overview of the process of cell division in correspondence to the follicular development. In conclusion, oogenesis is the creation of the ovum. Each stage of follicular development corresponds to a stage in the female menstrual cycle with a close relation to the different stages of cell division. Oogenesis begins in fetal development and is carried out through a female's reproductive lifetime.